So one thing that's been uh, weighing on my mind a lot lately, and I don't think many people view it this way, but rent for like an apartment or a house, that's a form of debt, essentially. Um, and what I mean by that is if you sign, let's say, a year lease with an apartment, uh, and I know this is a lowball number for most of us, but let's say it's a thousand, just from, to make the math easy, let's say it's a thousand dollars a month for the apartment that you're going to live in. Um, you're essentially signing up for $12,000 in debt because that landlord then sees it. The moment you sign that lease and move in, that landlord sees it as you owe them $12,000 for that year. And uh, that's what you're signing up for, debt. Now, it's viewed and it's categorized as an expense, but you don't really have the legal option to break your lease without facing repercussions. It's the same as if you don't pay a credit card. Uh, if you break your lease and move out early, that's gonna appear on your credit report. You're gonna still be on the line for that full amount unless it's written into your lease otherwise. So your monthly rent is debt. So uh, think about this for a second. Is there anything else that most of us would, the amount that you're paying in rent, is there really anything else barring like your health, if you had some necessary life-saving procedure you had to pay for, is there anything else that you would sign up for on a monthly basis equal to what you're paying in rent? Uh, for most of us, I'd say probably not. Uh, and these rental amounts, you know, um, they're just exorbitant because they know it's an extortion scenario. They know that most of us who will be renting apartments it's a matter of either, you know, basically not having a place to live or being forced to pay whatever they ask. And they all conspire together. All these management companies and these landlords, they all conspire together to keep the rental prices high and artificially inflated. And it's not like, you know, Nike and Reebok getting together and saying, this is what we want to charge for shoes. This is something that people absolutely like you're forced to do this or you're gonna to have to seek other arrangements uh, such as living in a vehicle or living in a shelter or just being unhoused living out on the street uh, unless you know somebody that maybe will let you stay in their house or if you can maybe be among the lucky people that can find a cheap room for rent in somebody's house and it's not somebody that's gonna be completely horrible to live with uh, these landlords and these rental companies, they know that they can basically just charge whatever they want and people are going to be forced to have to buy in uh, because a lot of people don't have any other options, you know, especially with the cost of houses being so high and people can't get down payments together to buy a house, to get a mortgage. Mortgage, by the way, which is debt too, obviously, but at least what, what you're getting with that debt, you're getting a return on the investment. With rent, you're not getting shit. You're getting a sub-optimal place to live for extremely inflated prices. And it's a form of debt. So before you sign that next lease for this apartment that you're looking at, think of it in terms of what is the length of the lease? What is the term of the lease? And what is the amount I'm paying per month? and see it not as a monthly expense, but as a debt for that 12 month amount. So like I said, if it's $1,000 a month, 12 month lease, that's a $12,000 debt you're signing up for. That's how you should be viewing rent. That's how we should all be viewing rent. Uh, and perhaps if more of us would start thinking of it this way, uh, fewer and fewer people will give in to this extortion that is rent seeking and the rental market and find other alternatives whatever they may be me personally my current lease is up in uh two and a half months and i'm gonna be living in my car for a while because i just don't care anymore i've actually lived in my car multiple times and you know there's difficulties and there's bad things about it but it's also kind of freeing you know you wake up you can do whatever you want uh, you don't have to have as much money that you're tying together to pay some stupid blood-sucking parasite landlord um, 
more of the money you make is going into your own pocket, your savings, or you know, occasionally maybe spending on things you enjoy. Um, so with all the difficulties that come from living in my car, that's what I'm going to be choosing to do. Uh, and there are other options out there, of course, too. Uh, but that's what I'm trying to stress here is start viewing rent not as a monthly expense, but as a whatever the term of the lease is. Usually they're a year for these leases. View it as a debt for that amount.